My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact. One of many so-called pieces of Eden. Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. But she's gone now. She's taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they... Now. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Oh, my love, me dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Come on, Desmond! Oh, really getting out of here, huh? Sturgo's got some fucked up interior decorators. 
Do you want it? Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research Over wing. Over here, Desmond. Requesting backup from all available security personnel. Subjects appear to be armed. Fancy. Boy, these must be a bitch to clean. There they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> Holy shit! Desmond, over here. I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Careful. side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Is that an animal's? Stay close. Let me handle this, Desmond. What do they need with all of them? Desmond. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. It's always something. What was that in the animals? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Oh, 
get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Love this it. way. So, you gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was gonna convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years, can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, Take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning... What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. What's all this stuff for? 
this stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. So how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... Here we go. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Ah. Ah. Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Mm. Honor! Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries Enough. upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself? Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. <laughs> You have style, but endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Fall back! 
Hold on. What? We almost won this. Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I have no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings, then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in their pockets. Bene. That should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Hurry, oh. Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Ben trovato, Doctor. Mm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Fotti te. <laughs> there we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. Quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father should be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. On the count of three. Due. Tre. Baby brother still has much to learn. <laughs> I almost feel bad about this. Oh, no shame and failure, brother. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> Best. May it never change. And may it never change us. Should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. 
There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. He couldn't have gotten far! Come in. Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. W well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. Christina! Christina! Elia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Mi chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Ora! Get it! There's really no need for violence. You have me confused with someone else. She needed some help with some things. I'm mostly innocent. I don't see him anymore. Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... 
<laughs> it reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. Members of the Arte del Cambio, the biannual congress has been postponed due to the <laughs> Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Keep up the good work. Bischero. <laughs> you worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ended. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber. Good morning, Gontaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, sí, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, 
See if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Arby's. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. It's beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something else in mind. Oh, Duccio. 
Ehi, l'urido porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah, ma che ti piglia? You insult my sister, parading around with this puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtù. You broke her heart. Ha! <laughs> and now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all toffee. But when it comes time for action, ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Sister! Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at you? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house, then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So, Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks... 
I don't know, eh? Purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, eh? or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. something be easier. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? I have a delivery from... Giovanni Alatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! <coughs> Luigi, the fish merchant of San Marco, wishes it be known throughout the città. <laughs> 
None can beat this crisis or the freshness of his storm. fresco di giornata You Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. This week I'm almost giving my labor away. Well now, that was a bit of Father? Federico! Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you all right? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... when she resisted. It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes! 
to my sisters. Good. Do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. Ezio! Father! What's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain! There's no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the prison. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. Hmm. Father 
never said there was a door here. Bring this to Messer Roberto. Traditore! Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. Not you. What do you, you want to then? Escape? Can't wait to see your organs, Jesus. Or you to die. die. Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we explore other options? There are no other options! again sending Firenze a message of contempt. The city's youth apparently gathered and bear their posteriors at our honorable delegation. Down, friends. I've fresh got leeches today. Edgaron, get him! Which way did he go? himself moving like that. Ezio Auditore? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh... I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. Salute. Come sta? I have served you, <laughs> Prince's <laughs> King. Only the most well healed grace this booty.
Bring me your sick and wounded. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! You need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return, I swear! We will! Father! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Abba, Teta. I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister... They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way.
think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego, call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance. But the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely. Seen, but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. Like what you see? they cut books like that? I don't know. Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Thank you. 
You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. what how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my speech. Oh, Ezio Auditore! I... I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back! Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course! Come, this way! Pasticcio, tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted, but if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? 
I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? This claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What about now? Uh, Had enough yet? Uh, what seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, Ready to talk? What about now? Uh, Ready to talk? Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. It never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi.
You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Once, amico, and I never forget the hood. Step away, Caffone! Good evening, Gonvaloniere. To you as well. 
I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed. A nice disruption from that nasty business with the Auditore family. And to think I won't start at Giovanni's. Brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what he was? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for it. Uberto, a moment of your time? Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. As Gonfalonieri, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. Corruption and its ilk shall find no purchase here so long as I am in control. You are a treasure, Alberto. I hope Lorenzo recognizes that. Yes, our great leader, Lorenzo. I'll see you ladies later. telling the others about the execution. I mean, no offense, but what if they did not have to know? You can rest easy, friends. I am confident that this treachery began and ended with the auditory. What of the other son? Ezio, was it? The child poses no danger. Soft hands and an even softer head. He'll be caught and executed before the week is out. Oh, don't let us keep you, Berto. We just wanted to say hello. Evening to you, Gonfalonieri. Is everything to your satisfaction? Do you even need to ask? Of course. Accept our thanks for this evening and for helping you. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditori are not dead. I'm still here. Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditori!
something ail you, friend? now you're mine he's here That's that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. To, oh shit, it's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. Yeah, I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. But upload it to Desmond then. This is... They, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, it's wrong. Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all. But I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. Oh. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, 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 what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way... You'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh, oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. 
Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could haunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me?
Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. Falling. Stay away. This area is off limits. What do you, to you expect us to do? Give you an award for being an idiot? Here comes the Germany Signore. Andiamo. All right, this way. Keep them busy. Follow my lead. Stay close. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. This way. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... were they given a proper burial? Yes, they were. We should be close. Grazie, Dio. This way. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. What will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your family. I 
grow tired of this game. Finish him, and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! That's you! You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Yvote. <clears throat> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come. Let's get you all away from here. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Uh, uh, no, 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 Enrico no. and Petruccio, too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey John. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour in the party, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze, and I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa.
Come again, please. Much better, friend, you'll see. Come, Anichi! This week I no Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, Onko. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimum. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, it's you. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. No, he was born in the act to kill. I find this difficult to believe. Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from a new parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I think oh. you have your hooded page for as well. It's a fight, Feso. Try fighting for a change. Oh, so. Non sono amico così bravo. I don't like being made to wait. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was... An assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Come into your own. 
Thank you, uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host, the southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti?
All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack! Well done, Ezio. We are in. This way, men. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Pieri. Va bene. Wait, nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Pieri up right. to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? Signal again when you should follow.
one knows. But something has him on edge. How else to explain all of this? Signal again when you should follow. Stop here! Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we've finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting.
I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. Come on. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Do come again. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead. La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mr. Francesco. I have done as requested and spoken with your son.
Look familiar? All got a codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo would decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall.
Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Buongiorno. There's something wrong. Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Sir Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Buon viaggio! Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. 
And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one. How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo!
done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Apisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Pouch, oh, my money. your money! I don't have your money! <laughs> Get back here! Make me! I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset, tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money.
But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's your problem. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Hmm. Buona fortuna.
How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. The door! Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here! If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post, so help me God! No risky strike. Wait for a good opening. Remember Fine. what I've Fine. told you, Ragaz. Now, him. let's end this quickly. Let's finish this. You will die, Verme! Saverio! 
I'll be back with the other guards! Have to find a way out before it kills me. Run faster! I'm being chased! Hit him! To meet the lady, friend. I see you suffered for that. I pubs. No stamina. You should train more. Okay. I will peel the skin for you. Remember what I said. Patris et fili et spiritus sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database.
I know where Francesco will be and when. But what is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. And it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of High Mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd. Get close and stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. recent good fortune. Perhaps later then. Ciao! Di Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the Lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work.
then. Now I have a way back up in case I fall.
Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Ah! Get back! Danitore!
saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust them. Can you... Ah. All right, this way. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, senor. I'm moving as fast as I can. Francesco de Patti! I'll kill him. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. Kill the erase! Quietate, the signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. Maledetta porta! By the Christ, Gratis, come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh. Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. You have disappointed me, Monsieur.
not important. Radu, you think you can escape? I've great metal work here. I'm going on the door. Run! Run! I have stored the two work. I stand up! No more Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace.
When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. The attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. Hey. Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. Codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco Di Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore it.
what happened here. Signor Lorenzo! Lorenzo's currently indisposed. Hey, you're the one who killed Francesco de Pazzi. Get him. With pleasure. I know I heard a noise down there. It's time to earn your Florence. I want half of you to search the courtyard, the other half come with me to check the chapel. Si, Capitano. Then we check the secret passageways. What about Lorenzo? By now, Lorenzo is already dead.
Lorenzo! Porca vaca! Someone, find a way to get inside there! You heard him? You two, get the ladder! What are we doing with the ladder? Lorenzo isn't coming out. What's taking them so long? If you both weren't so loud, you wouldn't have heard us coming. Merda, you were the loud one. All of you, mind your own business and keep watch. It opened. Did you hear that? It came from the bedroom. Whoever opened it must be in there. There's an intruder in the bedroom. Go, kill him. Uh, see, si, Capitano. He looks familiar. There. There. Where have I seen him? Like you were told. Let's try it again. Whatever you're training, man. Get back! Lower your sword. It's me. Ezio. Again you save me. First they enter my church, now my home. I'll hunt them down. They won't come near you again. Look around you. This is one of my treasure rooms. You're entitled to take anything you wish from it, in thanks for what you've done. I trust my apartments are safe now. Yes, signore. Thank you for this most gracious gift. I must go. But I will come to you again, when all the Pazzi are dead. I will not forget what you've done for me. Buona fortuna.
Don't be shy. I own the end As a consequence of his body falls on up the ass, a small tax shall be imposed on his head. I'm sure I have... Here you go, sir. Mention me to your amici. Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha! It's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design. For delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my smithing. Bear with me, Amici. A great metal work here. Uh, has anyone seen my... Oh, 
are welcome here. Why not come with me? Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Buon viaggio! Ezio! <laughs> come in, come in! To what do we owe the honor? sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who is it? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scouts to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. Got something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counterattacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro. Teach me what to do. Now dodge! Bene, bene! Now do it again! Much better! One last time now! Bravo! it another time. Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you.
friend, one man's coin is as good as another's. Do you require a medical assistance?
Not you! Ha! Nice! That hood. Echo! Who saw what happened? Somebody saw something! Come forward! Jew, he's there on him. You. I see him. Die. Can't Die. take us all, boys. We'll wear him down. Oh, Wait, Miss Maledizione, where did he go?
surely. Aspettate! Don't you... Ooh, ha, nice try! <laughs> We're losing him! Let you!
exercise caution. Salute, Ezio. Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for the information.
power doesn't die. Light of the Lord, be cleansed! Away with you, demon! Have some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. No, I will. Que tu posa al fin e trovare riposo. Nel corpo e nella mente. Requiescat in pace. Nothing here. 
Ezio, about time you got here. We found Bernardo Baroncelli. Ottima notizia. Tell me where he is and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. But he escaped. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Va bene. I'll see if I can't pin him down. How do you expect to succeed when the rest of us have failed? I have my ways. Safer this way, yes. Yes, I'll ask, and then... And then I will be protected. We'll meet when it's time. And I'll leave this place. Free. In time. In time. Wait, what is this? I saw something. Bring me your Now I've come to spy. No. No. Just my nerves. Hard to stay calm, knowing that he seeks me. I must stay focused. I knew you would come. Where is Jacopo? So you can do to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. We gather at the church when a meeting is called. Mi duole dover giungere a tanto. Requiescat in pace. I'm with you.
applies to just such things? Ah, there you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend. was right. Where is Jacopo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora sei libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. Here, Ezio. We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Ah. Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yourselves. The assassin has arrived! I need to find a way to open the gates. I warned you to stay away, assassin! You should have listened! He's here! Good evil! You Templars, always singing the same song. You think a few mercenary will scare me? Ah! He's here! He should. Shall I give your remains to that Ubriacone, Mario? It's oh. where a plan you have. Spelling nonsense while you send these other men to die. Where is Jacopo? He knows you come for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. Fede dovrebbe dare conforto. Non pena. Requiescat in pace. Stay my blade long enough to follow him. He'll lead me to his Templar brothers. 
I'll have more names for my list. What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me, this much I know. What are you and the others planning, Jacopo? And by him to be their downfall, we will watch our own little Those We will dance forever. <laughs> Must have been drinking the good stuff. Your letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well?
How many men are responsible for my father's death? Sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. Else the others would be here with you. Say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament? We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. I... <laughs> No, please, no, don't. <laughs> please don't what? I can fix this. <laughs> Spare me. No. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to... Ha <laughs> 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 
Vai amico, libero da fardelli e paure, requiesca di pace. The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. E la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Leonardo! Leonardo! Mi dispiace, messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. Prices for no. Yeah. 
I suppose you only appear to be gone. You pathetic stranger! Fine! This is <laughs> Leonardo! Ezio? What luck! I, uh, have run into a bit of trouble. 
<laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. De, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. Venezia, such a beautiful city, so many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borges' men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! They're trying to climb on board! Knock them off! It's... Someone's on top! The shot turns to make the carriage roll! They are here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. Make this 
man very, very seriously. Now, on him! Just like that night in Alba, Gabriel! Oh. Careful, now, boys, he's so him. him! We work together!
Eccolo! Oh! <laughs> 
What's your problem, man? Didn't your pop? I'm not in play. Four. Slow.
another satisfied client. Ciao! Not find better prices than these, I mean. Milano has nothing on me. I have the sharpest clothes of all. It's getting easier and easier to hack into Abstergo's mainframe.
Not you! You won't believe your eyes! Just take a look! I promise you'll be satisfied! Stay here. With you, Bella. Work your magic. Quella è Satanata, ve lo dico io. Cosa? Ti piacciono quelli in uniforme? Here! Over here! Ezio! Here! Over here!
Ezio! Here! Over here! Ezio! Here! Over here! Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress, only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. Yes, signora. Whatever you say, signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forlì, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known... <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend.
you see what's going on? Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? 
Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. Obster goes out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped. So it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done.
All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old Subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I've been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his Animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later Animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... I put him through... It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed Sixteen so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault? I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to Sixteen wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. What the hell? What is this? Where am I? It's... Hmm. That must be his target. Thought I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. What's her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that.
Wait a second. Why aren't I following Altai here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh, shit. That must be. This is one weird dream. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional. What a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Mm, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right. 